of the evening. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Here's Anderson. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Good clean shot, returning fire, well done by the bully. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Solid uppercut. Double up the punch. You can see he's trying. The bullies hit by a right hand. Did you see that? Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive? Three. Four. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. End of round one. The bully's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest. And also, they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. A solid, true uppercut by the bully. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. The bully's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Use the ring. Use the whole ring. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. That's a razor-sharp oh, uppercut up. by the bully. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Flush right hand to the body. What impact from that uppercut by the bully. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. The bully break by an uppercut. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Nice block by Crusher. Crusher's proving that he's here. And round number three is underway. Scores with the uppercut. Good 
Good smooth work by Crusher. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Crusher's combination punching is working well here. Focus. Focus. To the head he goes with a left hand. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's big body shots. Body shots. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Work the body. Halfway Work through the body. this round That's here. Okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. You can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. He's still not moving enough. Come on now, move. Move. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Look at that combination by Crusher. Solid uppercut. Final 10 seconds. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change things. The bully's right hand scores well that time. Able to dismiss that body shot. The bully's completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, well, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight to set things up. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Combo, combo. Solid straight right hand. Halfway through round number four. Crusher's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. That right hand over the top lands flush. Bully's hit by a counter punch there. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Let's see. Able to dismiss it. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Huge right hand comes crashing home. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he Come just on, doesn't man. know where it is now. Each man able to land an uppercut. Crusher's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, letting the hands follow. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Come on! Wait, really? 
digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Nice, crisp one-two combination by Crusher. Crusher's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Up, both right hands land. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, what an exchange! I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land the counter. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. The bull is showing a great ability to adjust. He was stunned earlier, but you can see he has changed things up stylistically. Hey, look, Joe, I was watching a football game in my room this afternoon, and you know what? The team was running the ball, all of a sudden the run was taken away, so they started passing. I give him credit. You know, he's making an adjustment. He's trying to win the ball game. Oh, well, well, he's trying to win this fight. That right hand serving him well. Come on now. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Hit the body, baby. Body blow. Let it go. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Crusher's starting to bleed from the nose. Bully's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Good accuracy with that uppercut. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Bully's scoring with that right hand. You got this, man. You got this all day, all day. Right to the belt line. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The bully's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times. It's where you put your own head when you get hit by the Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that could turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Jab with the straight, classic combination. Come on, come on, punch, 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 that's it. That is a sharp uppercut by the bully. Get out of the way from those punches, move your head. He comes with the straight right hand. The bully's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Targeted two-punch combo by Crusher. The bully's right hand scores well. Get out of 
There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. And round seven. You know, neither man's been pushed too hard so far, but one man has taken advantage of it. A commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. Yeah, he hasn't been forced into a fast pace, so he's just taken what's been given to him. There's been a lot of picking there, the fruit at the top of the tree, and he's picked it. Sound defense. Good block that time by Crusher. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the bully. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Crusher's making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent knew this was coming. He knew he was going to fight on the outside, but the jab is really doing damage. Well, his opponent knew this was coming. Why is he not blocking that jab or moving his head and getting away from it? Both men digging in with uppercuts. The bully's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breathe. Deep breathe. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Keep it up. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Flush right hand to the head. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. The bully's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Wow! He is level! How could he possibly get up from that? He's not going to! This fight's over! It's over! It's late in the fight, and it looked like...